Hi guys, uh, welcome to my channel. I just wanted to speak to you about option trading. Uh, what uh, I checked was uh, that uh, while doing the option trading, uh, the market was uh, uh, the volume on the market was very low. So uh, what what uh, I've never seen this because uh, for many years, like uh, when I've been doing trading, I've never seen this. The market has been very slow. Even the bank Nifty and all has been very slow. And uh, I think a lot of people have left the market and people are not happy with what the uh, SEBI is doing. So the rules and regulations have changed and a lot of things are happening. And uh, the speed in even in bank Nifty is very less. The way the market is going, uh, the speed is very less. So uh, we have to consider whether we need to trade or not to trade. Uh, we need to be because whatever the information what we get through the other new YouTube channels whether they are right or whether actually what they are uh, uh, portraying or what they are telling us is it right or is, is it a false information because a uh, lot of uh, channels are there and a lot of people i mean i i uh, sometimes watch the channel but the channels usually they propagate uh, things for their own benefit they don't uh, propagate uh, things for the viewers benefit and uh, especially i have uh, noticed that there is a particular channel and uh, they have what they have done is that uh, they have uh, that person who runs the channel i'll not uh, take his name but uh, the person who runs this channel he favors the stock brokers so uh, and he put a, it he put a, he put forward a point uh, saying that uh, the uh, stock brokers they they have to go through a lot of things a lot of things they have to work on and they have to uh, answer sebi and uh, all these things he was telling and then i realized that this guy is he has collaboration and he has got uh, uh, connections with i mean he has got his own brokering company okay so usually people have their own agenda when they uh, when they uh, speak about uh, stock market and uh, things like that whatever the information comes in information a uh, 99% information not true so the uh, most of the people they say that 90 99% people they lose money in the stock market but uh, but why they lose money is because 99% of the information is not true okay in stock market so what uh, what we need to do is we need to usually when you trade we need to check whether we are addicted to stock market or whether, whether we are addicted to tra trading or whether we are uh, whether we are uh, doing trading out of addiction we need to check all that okay i'll just check the sound one minute okay uh, just give me one minute okay so we need to check that okay we need to check that whether we are ad addicted to trading and if you are if we are trading based on addiction uh, then there are a lot of chances that we might uh, lose money and there are a lot of things in stock market uh, we need to take very seriously if you are if you want to make serious money or if you want to make real money you need to be very careful that uh, you don't take advice from people and uh, you just formulate your own plan and uh, what I have come to know, know is take a lot of breaks in between and study what is happening. I, like yesterday, like I when I was trading, I saw the volume was very low. Okay, volume was very low, and the the volume and people will say that okay, I I earn money. Okay, people earn money, but those money what people earn it's random. It's it's not it doesn't happen because of some strategy they use or something like that. Even I I I was just trying to. Uh, check uh, some some guy had uploaded a video and I was lis listening to him and he said that um, that I have used a technical analysis I've done a technical analysis and I've I've earned so much money okay that is not possible actually okay there's nothing called as uh, technical analysis you just uh, see the open interest chart you follow the chart and there's nothing called as technical analysis and you you have the indicators like pivot pivot point and uh, I I don't know what what he was trying to explain what technical analysis he had done okay you and you need to know you need to know a basic of stock market you just need to know a basic of stock market as to how the stock market operates how the option trading uh, operates and you need to be very serious you cannot uh, in this field you cannot uh, uh, do trading for fun 
it has to be very seriously done uh, otherwise uh, there are a lot of people who lose money because of wrong information 99 percent information about the stock market about the things are wrong information okay and uh, even the brokering companies they make good amount of money and uh, even sebi whatever sebi is doing or monitoring or whatever uh, everything everything is favored for you need to understand everything most of the things are done for capitalist okay capitalist capitalists are the people who control the environment okay they need to control the environment so they they usually give information which will help them to control you okay so you need to realize this and you need to uh, whatever trading you do i'm i'm still positive i i would suggest that whatever trading you do do it seriously and do it with lot of caution okay and uh, i don't want to i don't want to uh, bring negativity in this video but i just want you to do trading with lot of caution and lot of right information okay unless until you don't have the right information uh, you would uh, 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 unless until you don't have the right information what you need to do is you need to refrain from trading you need to stop trading or you need to wait until you get the right information okay and don't uh, your instinct you know uh, trading should not be done instinctively instinctively means you spontaneously uh, take a decision uh, you'd say that okay today i want to go for a movie today i want to go and eat in a restaurant okay trading cannot be done like that trading you need to wait and see what strategies work you need to first try it with uh, less amount of money and you need to you need to use a lot of risk management okay so because what happens is you should not put yourself in danger you might feel the things what you're doing or risk what you're taking is uh, um, risk what you're taking is you can take the risk but it is not good it's not condensive okay uh, i have heard that one 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 person was saying that okay I, I have taken such a big risk my risk appetite has increased okay there's nothing called as that it's all it's all uh, it's all wrong okay uh, you need to you need to focus on yourself you need to focus on your uh, environment uh, what kind of environment you are living in and based on that you need to do the trading and you need to um, cal you need to save money for trading and you need to you know work that uh, work in that way okay so uh, i would just uh, suggest that you would watch this video till the end and uh, if you are addicted to trading you need to come out of addiction you need to stop trading for some time you need to come out of addiction maybe 10 or 15 days try to come out of addiction okay don't lose keep losing money okay try to use less amount of money don't try to use lot of money okay lot of money don't try to use lot of money and uh, these things whatever strategies you're using you need to focus more on yourself more on your income more on whatever uh, savings you have suppose you uh, suppose somebody is saying that they are trading with 1 lakh or 2 lakhs or 3 lakhs you need to see what kind of uh, capacity what you have and don't take risk okay don't borrow money or don't take don't take risk in stock market especially in option trading don't take any risk okay and this kind of this kind of system is developed basically uh, for people to lose money okay this the whole stock market system is done for people to lose uh, money and pe it is for the big players okay but then if you still want to make money from stock market you need to what i would suggest is take a lot of breaks in between don't do it continuously don't do it regularly okay you need to follow this habit okay don't do it regularly don't do it uh don't do it continuously okay so you need to be very careful uh, with this and uh, and then you need to see like how how it can be worked and how you can you know make money out of this okay because i am still positive that we can make money but then you need to be very uh, i mean very much your discipline discipline has to be very high okay you, discipline has to be um, in stock market the discipline factor plays a very big role okay and controlling yourself and controlling your emotions that plays a very big role okay so uh, it is very important very very important that you would um, study the stock market wait and don't take spontaneous decision okay do all these things and then wait for long time okay and put try to use less amount of money okay one percent maybe 0.5 percent okay just try it okay don't take big big risk okay 
so big risk don't don't take big risk i yesterday also uh, somebody earned somebody put uploaded a video and say that we earned 7 lakhs okay and my risk appetite was 3 lakhs okay that is good okay? once in a while you earn money it's okay but there are a lot of times they lose money but they don't tell that okay there are a lot of times people lose money but they don't tell that and uh, they usually uh, even the big players they lose money in stock market because it's a random thing and there's nothing called as uh, there's nothing called as only the chart what you can follow and data's data what happens is data data keeps updating okay data sometimes keeps updating and i would tell you tell you i've never never seen bank nifty so slow operating so slow the volume people a lot of people have left the stock market a lot of people have stuck left the stock market and whatever information you're getting um is not right okay people are people are telling that uh, there is a big volume and people a lot of people have come actually a lot of people have left stock market and the volume is very low Okay, so this is this is the information what I have seen like when I was trading, and something is not right. And uh, since last year, a uh, lot of lot of things have been happening. Okay, the government policies and everything. So a lot of people have left stock market. So I would suggest that whatever trading or whatever decisions you take, do it in your favor. Uh, don't just jump uh, by listening to a YouTuber or even to me. Uh, you take your own decisions okay uh, i would suggest that you would uh, uh, accumulate knowledge try to get information wait for some time okay uh, do this if you're losing money on a regular basis okay if you're losing money on regular basis do this okay uh, don't don't continue doing trading okay i would suggest that because uh, if you are in a age of like you're over 30 or if you're uh, or you might lose your health okay you might fall sick okay after some time okay you might get stressed out okay one bad move na, it can get it it can create a lot of problems okay so i would I'd just be honest with you uh, try to refrain from this okay try to refrain and try to use less time uh, if you're if you're doing this also trading also try to use try to use lot of gaps okay maybe take a month's break or two months break try to use lot of gaps okay don't take don't do it you know on regular basis okay because what happens is lot of people make mistakes lot of people i've seen this happening lot of people make mistakes and spontaneously wrong decisions are made okay spontaneously because they keep checking the charts keep checking the charts keep checking the charts and their mind you know wavers okay so uh, I would suggest that take lot of lot of lot of lot of breaks in between and then do the trading don't lose money continuously you know like because money doesn't come easy okay people have I've seen people lost losing uh, 11 lakhs people losing lot of money and uh, I would suggest that take lot of breaks and do it with less amount you know even if you have a crores of rupees okay do it with less amount do it with 3000 4000 just see that you know and do it with that and see how it works if you're successful in that and regularly you're successful in that that's good it's a good strategy if you're not successful in that then don't go for that okay don't lose keep losing money okay because money is very important okay and if you are able to leave the stock market that's very good okay i would suggest that if you have money and if you if you are very uh, you can you can leave the stock market okay if you want to make a stock market career if you're thinking of making a stock market as a career uh, what i would suggest is that uh, uh, you'd start it very young don't start it you know at a, when you're over the age of 40 or you're over the age of 35 okay because it can create a lot of problems okay and if you are uh, trying to re-establish yourself okay uh, after you're like 40 or something uh, try to uh, refrain from that refrain from coming into stock market okay first see if how much money you can uh, accumulate and then you have to be very careful because it's it's a very uh, lot of things happen no because money is involved lot of things happen where wrong information is uh, given out very easily okay and uh, people who give out wrong information they're not worried about uh, humanity or something like that they're just worried about they passing some information okay so uh, just uh, focus on this and try to work that out and uh, i would try to upload some more videos I, i'm sorry if i've been a little negative 
and uh, but if you're looking for a stock market career you need to start little bit younger okay at the age of say 25 uh, not 25 also maybe 20 or you should be very young okay and because it can create a lot of stress okay it can lead to it, it i've seen people uh, even dying okay so i w- i just want i don't want to speak on that but then uh, take care of yourself uh, whatever trading you do be be very cautious and remember one thing that lot of information which comes most of the information which comes is false okay and try to focus on the right information try to work something out and even if you want to trade try to trade in such a way that it doesn't involve any uh, stress okay so i'll end this video right now and uh, i hope you do well and have a nice day bye